Sheng Yanshi died. The feast is coming to life again. I thought I was reincarnating with my memory, but I didn't expect it to be through reading. Moreover, it is the true daughter who was swapped in the group pet article, and the cannon fodder that was thrown into the orphanage as soon as the package was swapped, which never appeared in the article again. And Xingjiao. A daughter who has been pampered for 18 years is fake, not to mention. In the later stage, due to different intentions, the fake daughter and the gangster have illegitimate children with the male lead, and they are united by the fake daughter and the male lead to occupy the family business. The whole family is dead, disabled, and pitiful. Sheng Yanshi almost fainted and was reincarnated again. Bad news. She is about to be swapped. Good news. The whole family can read her heart. But I don't know if the whole family can read the feast of her heart. She realized that the plot is getting more and more wrong. Did she wear the wrong book? Keywords of the novel. After reading the heart of the whole family, I was spoiled without a pop dot up window. After reading the heart of the whole family, I was spoiled. Download the complete TXT collection. After reading the heart of the whole family, I was spoiled. Read the latest chapter. Chapter 1. Is this the legendary father-daughter bond? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1. Is this the legendary father-daughter bond? In the darkness, Xing Yanshi curled up, feeling something warm enveloping her surroundings. She reached out and groped around in the darkness. What kind of thing? But before she could react, a light appeared in front of her, piercing her eyes and making her unable to open them for a long time. Immediately after, there was a strong sense of compression, almost making her unable to catch her breath. Pa! Wow! Because she couldn't open her eyes, she received a cold slap on her buttocks, which made Xing Yanshi instinctively cry. Oh, she remembered, she seemed to, Daga. Moreover, the appearance of death still smells a bit so was she reincarnated and then pulled out by a pregnant woman. Sheng Yanshi feels like she's not doing well anymore. But considering that in my previous life, I stepped into a stinky ditch and drowned, and now being pulled out by someone doesn't seem unacceptable. But why does she still retain the memories of her previous life? Can it be that Meng Patang was mixed with water? Or is it that dying in the previous life smelled too bad, and preserving memories is compensation for her? Forget it, forget it. Feeling the movement of her body being washed, Sheng Yanshi was half asleep and groggy, until her body was wrapped in swaddling clothes. The person holding her clearly didn't know how to hold her, causing her to feel uncomfortable. It was then that she struggled to open her eyes. It's really ugly. Sheng Muhan looked at the wrinkled little man in his arms and instinctively uttered a sentence. Disdain. The three stinky kids before were not as ugly as the stinky guy in my arms you're so ugly your whole family is ugly upon hearing a panting female voice, Sheng Muhan was stunned for a while. Who is talking? There's only him, the nurse in front of him, and the assistant following behind, there's no one else. Immediately afterwards, Sheng Muhan heard the sound again. No, no, this should be my cheap dad holding me. If he says his whole family is ugly, then he says I'm ugly. I can't say that. Poo, poo, poo. Sheng Yanshi, who was held in Sheng Muhan's arms, quickly let out a few curses. Is it okay to talk about yourself? Sheng Muhan had a surprised expression on his face. So, what he heard was the voice of his own offspring. Sheng Muhan, who had always thought he was a boy, heard a soft and tender female voice in his ears. He didn't know for a moment whether it was because he could hear Sheng Yanshi's voice, or because he knew that he was not a stinky boy in his arms, but a fragrant and soft girl. What kind of expression does my cheap dad have? But he looks quite handsome, he he, he made a profit. The feast is filled with joy. If cheap dad looks so handsome, then his appearance in this lifetime must not be much worse. At this moment, the nurse in front of Sheng Muhan spoke up, Mr. Sheng, the little princess has just been born. 
This is normal. Just wait a little longer and it will be fine. Not all newborn babies are like this, how could anyone be born beautiful? Sheng Mu Han must have been in this state when he was first born, and now he still looks handsome and breaks through the sky. Of course, the nurse only thought about it in her mind and didn't really say it. Sheng Mu Han coughed lightly and quickly adapted to the joy of not being a stinky boy in his arms, but a daughter. However, when it came to speaking, it was still a bit awkward. Upon closer inspection, it doesn't seem ugly either. Hmm, it's truly the child of Nani and me. They were so adorable from birth. And his daughter even praised him for being handsome. Although I don't know why I can hear the voice of my daughter, perhaps this is the legendary father-daughter bond, right? Sure enough, the girl is a little angel. Nurse. Dot. Assistant. Dot. Mr. Sheng's face changing speed he is truly the CEO. Sheng Yanshi, who was held in Sheng Muhan's arms, was momentarily stunned when she heard the name spoken by her cheap father. Mr. Sheng. South Italy. How do you feel a bit familiar? How is my wife? Sheng Muhan then shifted his attention away from his daughter in his arms, looked at the nurse, and asked about his wife's situation. Mr. Sheng, madam is fine. We are cleaning her body and you can come in to see her later. This is a private hospital under the name of Sheng, which provides postpartum cleaning services for the CEO's wife. In the face of high salaries, it is completely insignificant. Sheng Mu Han handed out the baby in his arms and said, Take Yen Shi to the nursery. The name Yen Shi was already discussed with his wife. The girl's name is Sheng Yen Shi, and the boy's name is Sheng Yen Yu. Later, Sheng Mu Han looked at the assistant beside him and said, Jiang Wan, go pick up the banquet and the others after school. If those three stinky kids want to come over, just pick them up. Good Mr. Sheng. After speaking, Jiang Wen turned around and left. The banquet she, who was handed out, suddenly felt like a bunch of fireworks had bloomed in her mind with a loud bang. Mr. Sheng, Nan Yi, Jiang Wen, banquet this string of familiar names left Sheng Yanshi completely bewildered. Nothing else. Because of these names, they are just like the names she used to dote on the female lead's family in the group pet novel, Billion Wives. Fake daughters and true group pets she read in her previous life. She was curious to take a look because the female lead's name was the same as hers. But. The female lead is a fake daughter, not a real daughter. Zhen Qianjin was thrown into an orphanage by the protagonist's mother at birth, and then became a cannon fodder that never appeared again. As for the fake daughter of the female protagonist, Sheng Yanshi still remembers how disgusted she was when she read this book. While feeling disgusted, she continued to read, wanting to see how much mischievous the female protagonist with the same name was. At the early stage, she seemed to be favored by the Sheng family as a treasure. At least she was also a young lady who had seen the world. As a result, she was cheated away by a gangster who was a rich family but only an illegitimate son with a bowl of porridge. The illegitimate son of a gangster, the male lead, in order to compete for family property with his illegitimate son and retaliate against the group of people who looked down on him, conspired with the female lead to occupy the property of the Xing family, causing them to die and become disabled. As for the female lead, after dominating the Xing family business with the male lead, she was once again favored by the male lead and her biological parents. That's right, biological parents. The female protagonist recognized her biological parents early on, otherwise the Xing family would have been her own, and she wouldn't have been so heartless. Now that the Xing family is not her own, taking possession of it would have relieved her of any psychological burden. After all, the Xing family spoils her so much, isn't it right to sacrifice for her? As for the biological parents of the female lead, they are not ordinary people, but the male and female leads in the same series of billionaire wives. The CEO's double lover. The female lead of the mistress and the male lead of the cheating scumbag. How good can the current female lead born from these two things be? 
it's just unlucky for Shing Mu Han. He's the second male character in Double Lover and the stepping stone in Fake Qianjin Jintuan Pet. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Is this the legendary mother-daughter bond? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Is this the legendary mother-daughter bond? The authors of these two novels are like catching the Xing family and giving them a scolding do you remember the beginning of this novel is when the female protagonist's biological parents, the Gong family, suffered from a decline in assets due to poor management. The previous female protagonist, Bai Chan Chan, switched the wealth of the Xing family to prevent her own child from suffering together. After all, Xing Mu Han is the second son, and Bai Chan Chan thinks he likes him. Since that's the case, let her daughter replace his daughter. Even if she is eventually discovered, she will definitely not bear to blame her. I really don't understand how the author came up with such a plot that destroys our values. When reading novels, the feast was roast while reading. Fortunately, she finished watching and knew about the subsequent plot. But she's just a newborn baby now, and she can't speak. I thought it was a reincarnation with memories, and the home where the reincarnation took place was quite wealthy. However, I didn't expect it to be wearing books and even dressed as a real heiress who was about to be swapped out. Sheng Yenqi wished he could die and be reincarnated again. I'm too difficult, can I reincarnate again? Where is the bad place for reincarnation? Unfortunately, reincarnation is in this Xing family. Sai, it's about to be thrown away. Sai. What? Throw it away. Wait. Sheng Mu Han quickly stepped forward to stop the nurse, and then snatched back Sheng Yenshi from the nurse's arms. However, Sheng Mu Han did not suspect that the nurse was going to throw away his daughter, but when he heard his daughter say she was going to be thrown away, he was too anxious, so he appeared a bit angry. Mr. Sheng The nurse looked at Sheng Mu Han in confusion, not understanding why Sheng Mu Han, who had just asked her to take Sheng Yenshi to the nursery, suddenly came over and snatched him back. Yes, snatching it back is like she is some kind of human trafficker, trying to kidnap his precious daughter. It's okay, I'll just hold it. Xing Mu Han tightly embraced the small feast she in his arms. The nurse didn't say anything, but after responding, she went back in to check on Shin Nani's condition. Eh. Why is cheap dad still holding me? Take me to the nursery quickly, otherwise how could your kiss by Yue Guang switch me and her daughter, and let her daughter replace me to enjoy the group pet life at the Xing family. Xing Mu Han, who heard the heartfelt voice of Xing Yenshi, said, What? What, what, what? Xing Mu Han looked bewildered. What white moonlight? Are you still switching packages to let someone else's daughter enjoy her life at his house? Xing Mu Han's whole person is not doing well. No, he needs to investigate what his daughter means. Dare to switch between him and Nani's daughter. Hung Xing Mu let out a cold snort and walked toward Shen Nani's ward holding Shen Yanshi. In the ward, Shen Nani had already opened her eyes and saw Shen Mu Han walking with her child in her arms. She propped herself up and leaned against the back of the bed. Ah Han, let me take a look at Shishi Shi quickly. Shen Nani reached out his hand. When she was in the production room, she already knew the gender of the baby, but because she was too tired, she fell asleep again, so she didn't see her daughter's appearance clearly. Now, looking at the baby in Xing Mu Han's arms, she couldn't wait. Xing Mu Han gently handed the feast she in his arms to Shen Nani. Shen Nani held the baby in her arms, emitting a radiance of maternal love all over her body. My Cece is really cute. Look at these big eyes and small mouths, why are they so cute? Shen Nani wished he could give Sheng Yenshi a hard kiss on the cheek. Upon hearing Shen Nani's words, Sheng Mu Han remembered the wrinkled appearance of Sheng Yenshi in his arms just now. With some suspicion, he leaned over to Shen Nani and looked down at Sheng Yenshi in her arms. Sheng Mu Han. Dot. No, isn't this still a wrinkled appearance? He thought it was because Sheng Yenshi suddenly looked better, 
but it turned out to be his wife's own 180-layer filter. Sheng Yenshi was an orphan in her previous life and had never experienced any family affection. Now, looking at her new mother in front of her, she struggled to keep her eyes wide open. Hee hee, mom, it's a fragrant and soft mother, sticking and pasting, looking at the beautiful woman in close proximity, the saliva from the feast was almost flowing down. Upon hearing the sudden sound of milk, Shen Nani froze. What sound? In the ward, there was only her and Xing Muhan, obviously it couldn't be her and Xing Muhan's voices, plus calling her mother is it difficult. Is it the feast in her arms? No way. Just as Shen Nani thought he might have had hallucinations because he was too tired, the milky voice rang out again. It's better to be a beautiful mom than a cheap dad who even says I'm ugly, humph. Mom, stick stickers Shen Nani could clearly feel Shing Yenshi in her arms moving her small body after thinking about it. She froze. It's not a hallucination, is it really her daughter's voice or her inner voice? Shen Nani felt that her world was magical. Looking up at Shing Muhan, I found that he didn't have any facial expressions and probably didn't hear Shing Yenshi's voice. So, only she could hear Shing Yenshi's voice, right? Is this the legendary mother-daughter bond? That's great Shen Nani held the feast she tighter in her arms. But Shen Nani didn't know. Shen Muhan looked expressionless, but in fact, he was almost biting his teeth. However, Shen Nani didn't show much emotion when Shen Yenshi talked. Shen Muhan knew that he was the only one who could hear the voice of Shen Yenshi, so his wife would not know that Shen Yenshi had roast about him. Wu Wu, mom is so beautiful, so fragrant, so soft. The thought of not being able to stick to my fragrant and soft mother all the time and being thrown into an orphanage in the future makes me feel heartbroken, sobbing. She's face was sorrowful at the feast. It's not easy to have a mother now, but unfortunately she is the true daughter in the book, destined to give way to fake daughters, and she is the one who feels sad. Never mind, she was also an orphan in her previous life, and she understands all these procedures. Xing Muhan was not the first time he had heard Xing Yenshi mention the orphanage. His brow furrowed tightly, forming a Sichuan character. Shen Nani also had the same expression. Being thrown into an orphanage. Shen Nani's bright and beautiful face was instantly shrouded in darkness. This is her daughter born in October, who dares to throw her precious daughter into an orphanage. She she is good, with your mother around, no one can bully you in the future. Your mother will protect you. Shen Nani didn't think that Sheng Yenshi was talking nonsense. Although she didn't know why she could hear Sheng Yenshi's voice, nor did she know why Sheng Yenshi thought she would be thrown into the orphanage, end of this chapter. Chapter 3 Shouldn't be a reincarnation of some pervert, right? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Shouldn't be a reincarnation of some pervert, right? But with her here and the security of the Xing family, she will never let her daughter be thrown away. Hey mom is so good I like mom, I don't know if it's because she was reincarnated into a baby, but Xing Yen she feels like she has become more affected and her thinking has become less like what an adult should be. However mind it. Hee hee, whose mother is this? Ah it's mine, give it a kiss, Shen Nani was amused by the heartfelt voice of Shen Yenshi. Why is her daughter so cute? Shen Nani's appearance itself is outstanding. When she doesn't smile, she is a gentle young lady. When she smiles, it's like a beautiful bouquet of flowers blooming in winter, which cannot be ignored. Shen Yenshi was held in Shen Nani's arms, and with such a close-range critical strike, she was stunned. Ah whose mother is this beauty? Hee hee, it's mine. Kiss me, kiss me. Sheng Yenshi has already looked like an old embryo. Sheng Muhan also noticed. His daughter, she shouldn't be some pervert reincarnated. Shen Nani, on the other hand, didn't think there was any problem at all. She even hugged Sheng Yenshi closer to her and kissed her little hand. My Sisi is so cute, let my mother kiss her, she said Ao 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 Sheng Yenshi screamed wildly in her heart. 
so happy. Cough. Sitting by the bed, Sheng Muhan let out a light cough. Shen Nani and Sheng Yanshi only then shifted their gaze slightly to him. Dad will also protect Shi Shi. When Sheng Muhan said these words, his expression was somewhat unnatural. This girl is also what he has been looking forward to for a long time. Although she is somewhat different from other girls, only he can hear her voice, but it is better to always know what his beloved girl has in mind. Although it's possible that his daughter may not have a good impression of him, he's now coming to boost his popularity. You can't have a baby girl who hates you. With dad around, from now on, Cece will be the little princess. Whatever you want, dad will give you. You just want the moon in the sky, dad can also give you. Get some material on the moon. You can't exaggerate, but it's still possible to get some material from the moon. Sheng Muhan felt that by saying so, his own daughter should have slightly improved her outlook on him, right? But the next second, I heard the voice of Sheng Yanshi's incomparable disgust in my ear. Pooh! Protect your big head, it's clearly something you brought in. If it weren't for your white moonlight, there wouldn't have been so many things. Humph, lick the dog. What else is the material on the moon? Oh, that's indeed true, but you gave me your daughter who was personally made by Bai Yueguang. Humph, spoil Bai Yueguang's daughter to heaven. My poor daughter was thrown into an orphanage by Bai Yueguang and couldn't eat enough or wear warm clothes. Hmm, now I'm this poor girl. Sigh, I'm really miserable. The crackling sound of Sheng Yanshi's heart echoed in the ears of Sheng Muhan and Shen Nani, making them dizzy and disoriented. Sheng Muhan was fortunate to have known all these messy things from the beginning. But Shen Nani is different. Originally, Shen Nani felt that her daughter's thought of being thrown into the orphanage was because they didn't protect her well and she was stolen by someone with a heart. But she never expected that it wouldn't be like this. It was Sheng Muhan's white moonlight that switched her child. Shen Nan was so angry that he trembled all over, wishing to strangle Sheng Muhan to death. It was agreed that she had never been in a relationship before. She was his first love, and as a result, some white moonlight came out. However, whether it was his first love or not doesn't matter anymore. The key is that the white moonlight even swapped her and her daughter. Ah ah ah, Shen Nan is crazy. Holding Sheng Yanshi's hand tightly, she looked at Sheng Muhan with alert eyes. Sheng Muhan didn't see his daughter dot in dot law's guarded expression because he was thinking about something. He was very certain that he had liked Shen Nani alone, whether it was the white moonlight or the cinnabar mole, only Shen Nani. But Sheng Muhan was still searching for someone in his mind who might have done such a thing, but he had no clue. Fortunately, only he could hear his daughter's voice. If his wife found out about this, he would probably have to sleep in the study for a long time in the future. Fortunately, he could hear his daughter's voice and slowly investigate everyone around him. Sheng Muhan had no doubt why Sheng Yanshi knew all this, but he could hear his thoughts now. Perhaps his daughter was some kind of fairy, so knowing many things is not very reasonable, is it? The more Sheng Muhan looks at Sheng Yanshi now, the more he feels that she is like a little fairy, cute and beloved. Just as Sheng Muhan was about to say something, his phone rang. Upon checking the phone call note, it was his secretary, Qin Yuyuan. Sheng Muhan answered the phone. What's going on? Sheng Muhan's voice was cold and sharp, completely different from the previous one. Feast Shi is a good guy, she's a cheap dad with two faces. Mr. Sheng, it's Mr. Gong who is here to discuss cooperation matters regarding BCE drugs. Because the amplification was on, Sheng Yanshi also heard Qin Yu Yuan's words on the other end of the phone. Sheng Muhan said, I got it. After speaking, Sheng Muhan hung up the phone. Hey, here we go, here we go, I'm going to have nothing soon. Sheng Yanshi, who knew the original plot, sighed and sighed. Her already wrinkled face now felt as if it had been squeezed and then loosened, becoming even more wrinkled. What's going on? 
Upon hearing Sheng Yanshi's voice, Sheng Muhan furrowed his brow slightly. He didn't ask the nurse to take his daughter to the nursery, why did she say she was going to be gone? Sheng Muhan was puzzled. But soon, Sheng Yanshi answered for Sheng Muhan. Although I didn't go to the nursery, it may have been a bit difficult for Cheap Dad's White Moonlight, but Cheap Dad's White Moonlight is really smart. There must be no only one way. Even if I'm by my beautiful mother's side now, as long as I wait for her to rest, Cheap Dad's White Moonlight can still come in and secretly transfer me after all, my beautiful mother just gave birth to me and must be very tired. Hey, being transferred may be my fate, right? Goodbye, beautiful mother there's no way, who made that the female lead? Is there a female lead aura there, or is it double the female lead aura? Cheap dad and beautiful mom are stepping stones for the protagonist, and she is now just a little baby with no action. What can we do? Originally, when she didn't know how to read, Sheng Yanshi still hoped to become a child with parents in her life. Now, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Where the Fool Comes From You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Where the Fool Comes From Now She Just Wants To Be A Quiet Passerby Anyway, the plot cannot change, so why not just accept your fate? Rather than struggling, it's better to put on a show. Due to being a baby, Sheng Yanshi was drowsy and had already accepted reality. She didn't think much about it anymore and simply went to sleep. Perhaps when she woke up again, she would have already appeared in the orphanage. Sheng Yanshi thought so. Mr. Sheng, for the BCE drug project, our Gong family will account for 70% of the profit. After all, Mr. Sheng, don't forget to promise Qian Qian. You definitely don't want to see Qian Qian feel sad. 70% profit. Mr. Gong, I am a businessman, not a philanthropist. Besides, your wife is upset. What does it have to do with me? Also, I have never promised your wife anything. This cooperation was requested by the vice president of your Gong family. Seeking cooperation, Gong Chen is just thinking nonsense, even though he is still demanding 70% profit. Xing Mu Han could hardly control rolling his eyes. Gong Chen frowned tightly, as if he could kill several flies, and said, Mr. Sheng, I know that Qian Qian chose me instead of you, which has led to your hatred towards me. Well, if I make you profit, we'll split it into six or four parts. No matter how much, don't think so. Gong Chen can be said to be very confident, even ignoring that it was their Gong family seeking cooperation, rather than for the sake of Bai Qian Qian's face. Sheng Muhan was speechless and said, General Gong, there's nothing more to say, please. Gong Chen was obviously dissatisfied with Sheng Muhan's attitude. This Sheng Muhan, who used to covet his woman, is now even trying to snatch Qian Qian from him. If it weren't for the recent decline of the Gong family, he would definitely not have come to cooperate with Sheng Muhan who coveted his woman. Now that he has given face to Sheng Muhan and personally came to the Sheng family, how dare Xing Muhan still treat him like this? Gong Chen felt that Xing Muhan was trying to make Bai Qian Qian come to him voluntarily, which was why he was trying to save face like this. Xing Muhan is really shameless. He has given birth to several children with Xin Nani, and he dares to covet the women of his palace Chen. He would never give Xing Muhan this opportunity. Gong Chen didn't get up and leave, but continued to sit there, crossing his legs and looking contemptuously at Sheng Muhan. Mr. Sheng, don't be shameless. The woman who covets me, right. The woman who wants me to come to you personally, right. Hee hee, if you dare to covet me again, I won't be able to peel off a layer of your skin. Sheng Muhan. Dot. Where did you come from, idiot? Mmm, just as Sheng Muhan was about to start beating up the fool, a small sob came into his ear. Sheng Yanshi, who was sleeping, felt impatient as she listened to the noisy sounds in her ear. Didn't you see anyone sleeping? They were still making a lot of noise. Opening her eyes, she found herself in a strange place. 
Shen Yanshi was taken aback and reached out her little hand. Sleepy, she remembered that she was wearing a book, so has she been thrown into an orphanage now? Shen Yanshi opened her eyes and surveyed the surrounding environment, but because she couldn't control her body as she pleased, her gaze couldn't see much. This is an orphanage. Wow, is it so luxurious. It seems that my dad's cheap white moonlight is not as crazy as before. At least he chose a better orphanage for me. It shouldn't be a problem if I can have enough to eat in the future thinking of having a full meal, Shen Yanshi clearly felt hungry and couldn't speak. She could only cry in order to attract the attention of the adults in the orphanage and feed her some milk. Upon hearing Shen Yanshi's voice and her crying, Shen Muhan stood up from his desk and walked to the nearby sofa, picking her up. Did we wake up from Cici's sleep? Sheng Muhan looked at Sheng Yanshi, who was being held in his arms, and tried to make himself smile gently and kindly. But in the eyes of Sheng Yanshi, suddenly, a big face approached her with a smile that was, ill-intentioned, but it frightened her enough. Upon closer inspection, it was discovered that the person holding her was actually Sheng Muhan. What situation? What's the situation? Why is Cheap Dad still there? Haven't I been transferred and thrown into an orphanage yet? Sheng Yanshi's small face was filled with confusion, not understanding why she could still see Sheng Muhan. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Oh, it's not an illusion. As if to answer Sheng Yanshi's doubts, Sheng Muhan specifically said, We Cici are so cute. Come and accompany Dad to work so that dad can always see us Cece and earn a lot of money to let us Cece live the life of a little princess. As he spoke, Sheng Muhan's smile intensified, and he extended two fingers to play with Sheng Yanshi's small hand. Oh. So, did I successfully avoid the fate of being transferred and thrown into an orphanage? Sheng Yanshi was a bit excited, and her small face smiled at Sheng Muhan. Compared to becoming a child without parents in an orphanage, Sheng Yanshi still wants to have parents. Who wouldn't want a happy and fulfilling home? Especially for Yan Shi, who was an orphan in her previous life. Hee <laughs> hee, cheap dad did a great job. If it weren't for the conditions not allowing, Sheng Yanshi would have wished to give Sheng Muhan a thumbs up directly. Mr. Sheng, this is. Sitting at his desk, Gong Chen saw Sheng Muhan holding Sheng Yanshi in his arms. Just now he also heard Sheng Yanshi's crying. He didn't pay attention before and didn't expect there to be a little baby on the sofa in Sheng Muhan's office. I don't know what came to mind, Gong Chen's expression was very ugly, as if Sheng Muhan's office didn't allow babies to appear. Sheng Muhan cautiously sat back at his desk holding Sheng Yanshi. Sitting on the boss's chair, with his back against the chair, he coaxed the feast Shi and glanced up at Gong Chen. That gaze, as if asking why Gong Chen hasn't rolled out of his office yet. Mr. Sheng, this is. Gong Chen once again spoke up and asked the same question. Sheng Muhan said, Mr. Gong hasn't left yet. Do you want me to have someone invite you out? General Gong Sheng Yanshi rolled her eyes and looked towards Gong Chen. Shouldn't this be Gong Chen? Sheng Yanshi didn't forget that Gong Chen was the former male lead and the male lead of the previous double lover. Sheng Muhan was preparing to call his secretary, but upon hearing Sheng Yanshi's voice, he silently dispelled the idea. Sheng Muhan Dai Banquet Shilai Group is not only to prevent her daughter from being stolen from the hospital by malicious people, but also because she can hear her voice and bring her around to see if she can hear more about the so dot called White Moonlight. Now hearing that Sheng Yanshi actually knew about Gong Chen, Sheng Muhan decided not to throw Gong Chen out for now, and let him continue to listen to his daughter's voice. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Cheap Dad, Mighty, Roaming Duck You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Chapter 5 Cheap Dad, Mighty, Roaming Duck Of course Cece is my daughter, otherwise what? Sheng Muhan was too lazy to be polite with Gong Chen and directly mocked him. Did Gong forget to bring his mind with him when he went out? Except for his daughter, 
who would bring a little baby to his office, Gong Chen didn't think about it. Sheng Muhan had never seen such a foolish person as Gong Chen before. He couldn't figure out how such a person became the CEO of the Gong family. After all, the Gong family is not just a son of Gong Chen. If they insist on inheriting the Gong family so foolishly, no wonder the Gong family is going downhill. After hearing that Xing Muhan was holding his daughter in his arms, Gong Chen's expression suddenly became uneasy, gloomy and terrifying. How could you bring her over? By the time he realized something was wrong, Gong Chen had already blurted out his words, his mouth running ahead and his mind chasing behind. Xing Muhan's eyes half narrowed, looking at Gong Chen with a dangerous aura. What does General Gong mean by this? Why can't I bring my daughter to my office? General Gong seems to like to meddle in other people's affairs. Gong Chen remained silent, and a hint of resentment flashed through his eyes. Of course, he can't bring me over, otherwise why did he choose to come to the company to discuss cooperation when his beautiful mother gave birth to me? It's not just to separate you, so that your white moonlight, his wife, can swap me and his daughter. Banqueting Xi's fingers, she roast in her heart. If Xing Muhan is not supported, how can Bai Qianqian successfully switch her daughter and her? At what kind of look in Gong Chen's eyes, as if he's about to strangle me, wheezing, cheap dad, I'm afraid, the feast she'd pretended to whimper twice. Xing Muhan's eyes suddenly became cold, and he looked at Gong Chen unkindly. Unexpectedly, Gong Chen had this idea in mind. Also, his white moonlight, white Chan Chan. It's just a joke, Bai Chan Chan can't compare to his wife. General Gong, looking at my daughter with this kind of gaze, do you want to die? Xing Muhan's fierce gaze swept towards Gong Chen. Cheap dad, mighty, duck. Xing Muhan waved the flag and shouted in his heart during the grand banquet. If in the previous double lover book, Xing Muhan was the second male and couldn't compete with Gong Chen, who had a male lead aura, then in this fake and real group pet book, it is completely different. It is absolutely impossible to be defeated by Gong Chen, after all, there is also a group pet fake and real group pet. In this fake Qianjin true group pet article, Gong Chen has not many roles besides being the father of the fake Qianjin. The most common role is to transfer two children, causing Gong Shi to go downhill. Then, after the fake Qian Jin and the gangster's illegitimate son male lead take the Xing family's home, he becomes a tool person's father and indulges the fake Qian Jin recklessly. Be good. Xing Muhan touched Xing Yanqi's head, his eyes soft. But as he looked at Gong Chen, he became cold and stern again, Mr. Gong, I won't keep you, please. Gong Chen's main purpose in coming to the Xing family was to divert Xing Muhan from the hospital and delay the process. Now that Xing Muhan has brought Xing Yanshi from the hospital to the office, it is obvious that Bai Qianqian cannot succeed. Gong Chen stood up and glanced at Xing Muhan and Xing Muhan's embrace, then snorted at Xing Muhan before shaking his hand and leaving. Unable to successfully transfer his daughter to Xing Muhan's daughter, he had to quickly go back and discuss with Bai Qianqian what to do afterwards. Actually, the best thing is to switch Xing Yanshi when she's just born. After all, she's just born, so there's definitely not enough time to take a closer look. Plus, the babies are all similar in appearance, so if you switch them immediately, you won't be able to tell. But the longer the child stays with Xing Muhan and the others, the less likely it is to switch sides as they become familiar. Gong Chen was almost infuriated by Xing Muhan's behavior of bringing his daughter to the office. How can their plan be implemented, and how can he and Qian Qian's daughter live the life of a little princess without suffering from the decline of the Gong family? Gong Chen's teeth are almost biting apart. After Gong Chen left, Xing Muhan gently comforted Xing Yanshi and said, Xi Xi is good, bad guys have been driven away by dad. We Xi Xi are not afraid. He he, don't I have to be switched? That's great, but Gong Chen will definitely not give up easily. What should he do? Hm Xing Yanshi was lost in thought. 
Knowing that the plot can change, Shen Yenshi doesn't want to be swapped and live an orphan's life again. Judging from Gong Chen's reaction just now, there must be some problem. We need to ask the assistant to investigate, starting from the hospital. Sheng Muhan muttered to himself, actually speaking to Sheng Yenshi. Eh. Wow. Quick investigation, quick investigation. Expose their conspiracy. Sheng Muhan gave a cunning smile and said, Are we Shishi praising dad's intelligence? Yeah. Smart. Cheap dad smart. Cheap dad is the smartest in the world. I wave the flag and shout for cheap dad. Ow. Sheng Yenshi generously praised in his heart, even though it was cheap and dad couldn't hear it. Sheng Muhan smiled with satisfaction, took the phone from the nearby desk, and called Jiang Wen. Mr. Sheng, I have received young Master Yenin and his team. They are currently on their way back to the hospital, and it will take about 10 minutes. Received a call from Sheng Muhan, thinking that Jiang Wen, who came to urge him, immediately reported the situation on his end. After Sheng Muhan nodded, he asked Jiang Wen to investigate whether Bai Qianxian had any contact with the hospital. After receiving Jiang Wen's response, Sheng Muhan hung up the phone. Ha! Huh. Did she she look at her dad so handsome? Sheng Yenshi was shameless and shameless by Sheng Muhan, and rolled his eyes at him directly. When facing Dong Chen just now, he was still a cold and domineering CEO, but now he has become so narcissistic. He is cold, ruthless, and cheerful, so he has to act alone, right? Eh. Sheng Muhan shouted at the grand banquet. Sheng Muhan, who had not heard the heartfelt voice of Sheng Yenshi, guessed blindly, Are you praising your father for being handsome? Eh. Hungry. She's just a little baby. Hey, from the hospital until now, she hasn't taken a sip of milk. When she woke up, she felt hungry. However, she forgot because she was delayed by Gong Chen. Now that Gong Chen has been walking for a while, her stomach has started to rumble again, which makes her remember. Are we hungry, Cece? Hungry. The feast roared with joy. Why can't you remember breastfeeding her when it's all three children's fathers? Do you insist on her reminding me? Okay, dad will go bubble milk for you, be good. Sheng Muhan stood up, placed Sheng Yenshi on a chair, and then went to the lounge to get a bottle of milk powder to soak in milk. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 No wonder the true daughter never appeared again. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 No wonder the true daughter never appeared again Although Sheng Muhan doesn't need to do it himself to brew milk on a regular basis, he is already the father of three children, and he has seen and understood it. After testing the temperature inside his wrist, Sheng Muhan put the bottle into Sheng Yenshi's mouth. So, as a twenty-year-old adult, does not feel shy when drinking milk during the feast. It sucks on its pacifier and gulps down the milk in its bottle. God knows she almost pouted out of hunger. In no time, the milk in the bottle was consumed by Sheng Yenshi. Have we eaten enough in Sisi? Do you want some more? Hiccup, the only response to Sheng Muhan was the sound of burping. Sheng Muhan knew that Sheng Yenshi was full and went to wash the bottle. When he returned, he saw that Sheng Yenshi had fallen asleep again. Looking at Sheng Yenshi sleeping quietly, Sheng Muhan's face was filled with an uncontrollable smile. So cute, so good. Sheng Muhan held Sheng Yenshi in his arms and admired her sleeping appearance with a silly expression. Sure enough, it's better to be a girl. Look at how cute and lovely she is. She sleeps when she's full, doesn't make any noise at all, doesn't look like a stinky kid at all. She's very mischievous, cries when she's full, and asks for someone to accompany her. After finally resting, she starts crying again. Although Banquet N and the three of them were already sensible enough during their infancy, unlike other babies, they were completely unable to give a quarter of an hour of peace. But compared to the Grand Banquet, it can indeed be considered mischievous. 
If Xing Yanshi knew what Xing Muhan was thinking, she would probably have to roll her eyes. Can she compare to an ordinary baby? She is a baby, the soul of an adult, and naturally does not cry like a baby at any time, unless there is something particularly important, such as hunger or diarrhea, because she cannot speak and can only express herself through crying. Xing Muhan held on to Xing Yanshi, and at that moment, his phone rang again. Xing Muhan quickly answered the phone and saw Xing Yanshi, who had not been disturbed and was still sleeping peacefully, he finally breathed a sigh of relief. Mr. Sheng. Jiang Wen's voice came from the other end of the phone. Sheng Muhan lowered his voice and said, We found something. Mr. Sheng, we just found out that Bai Chan Chan is also giving birth at the hospital where Madam is located today, on the same floor. Using your card, we bribed the nurse in the nursery. According to the nurse's instructions, Bai Chan Chan asked her to exchange Miss Cici and her daughter. If the exchange cannot be made in the nursery, let the nurse exchange the child in the ward while madam is resting. Still found, still found. Jiang Wen couldn't bear to continue speaking. Bai Chan Chan's actions are truly tingling, and her mind is extremely malicious. Say. Jiang Wen's hesitant voice made Xing Muhan know that the plans of Bai Qian Qian and Gong Qin found later were definitely not very interesting. But he still needs to know. Know what they really want to do. After a moment of silence, Jiang Wen slowly spoke up and said, It has been found that Bai Qian Qian and Gong Qin have contacted an orphanage in the suburbs, intending to transfer Miss Cici and send her there. When Xing Muhan could hear Xing Yanshi's inner voice, he knew that if he was really replaced, Sheng Yanshi would definitely be sent to the orphanage. Therefore, hearing Jiang Wen say this now is not as angry as when he first found out. But there must be more than that. Continue speaking. The director of that orphanage has already been greeted. As soon as Miss Cici is sent over, she will experience cruel and inhumane abuse, especially when she reaches a certain age, her body organs will also be. Jiang Wen knew that even if he didn't continue, Cheng Muhan on the other end of the phone would definitely know what he was going to say. If Miss Cici is really sent to that orphanage, she will experience abuse when she was a child, and even have her organs dug out when she grows up. It can be said that even if she dies, Miss Cici will not be allowed to live peacefully. Cheng Muhan's hand holding his phone was trembling. Half are angry, half are afraid. If we hadn't heard Xing Yanshi's voice, then Xing Yanshi should have arrived at that orphanage by now, and they knew nothing about spoiling the daughters of Bai Qian Qian and Gong Qin, two scumbags. An indescribable emotion surged in my heart. Wow. It's really not human. I'll say why in the original plot, the true daughter was just a passerby, only mentioned when she was transferred and said she had been thrown into an orphanage and never appeared again. After all, the true and false daughters will definitely have real daughters and some slapping scenes in the later stage. Emotions are constantly abused after being thrown into an orphanage, and then when she grows up, her organs are dug out and she dies. Wow, wow. Are these really the three values that people should have? No wonder there is no specific description in the book. The two books only revolve around the love between the male and female protagonists from beginning to end, without knowing how dark the real situation is. If this is written out, it will not be sprayed out. At the beginning, I wrote about the bad thing of swapping two children. Of course, later on, I whitewashed these two former male and female leads and pretended to apologize, which was exposed. Perhaps because his whole body was brand new, even though Xing Muhan did not amplify his phone, Xing Yanshi still heard what Jiang Wen was saying faintly on the other end of the phone. Just as she woke up, she heard about the explosion of her three views, and Xing Yanshi was almost nauseous. Fortunately, fortunately, the plot has changed now. I was not transferred and thrown into that orphanage. Thinking about it, I feel scared, sobbing. At the feast, she cried to death. I originally thought I would just accept my fate and just follow the original plot. But now I know that if I really follow the original plot, 
my fate will be so miserable. Even though Xing Yanshi is still in her infancy, she will work hard to survive. Absolutely absolutely not anymore. Xing Mu Han had already hung up the phone, and upon hearing his thoughts, Xing Yanshi was somewhat surprised. Did she she wake up? Yeah. At the grand banquet, Shi Yukong punched Xing Mu Han in the void. Wu Wu, cheap dad, your white moonlight is too bad. Hurry up her. Xing Mu Han extended a finger and said, Sisi, dad asked his assistant uncle to investigate something. If you want dad to help you seek revenge, grab dad's hand. How about that? Xing Yanshi immediately grabbed the finger that Xing Mu Han had reached out, babbling. Well, Xing Mu Han actually wanted Xing Yanshi to grab his finger and let him feel the joy of having a daughter. Even if Xing Yanshi didn't grab it, he would still make Bai Qian Qian and Gong Chen pay the price they deserve. However, Xing Yanshi remained silent and didn't think anymore. Upon hearing Xing Yanshi's inexplicable voice, Xing Mu Han was extremely anxious. But. But what? End of this chapter. Chapter 7. His daughter dot in dot law is his white moonlight. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 7. His daughter dot in dot law is his white moonlight. Xing Yanshi held her fingers and just looked at Xing Mu Han like this, without any heartfelt words reaching his ears. The expression on Xing Mu Han's anxious face was almost uncontrollable. But what, actually speaking? Xing Mu Han has never been so nervous and urgent before, except when he was producing in Shinnani. The expression is almost uncontrollable. Don't worry, Sisi. Dad will definitely not let go of those who want to hurt you, no matter who. Xing Mu Han looked seriously at Xing Yanshi in his arms. Xing Yanshi said, dot. Really? She doesn't believe it. Who doesn't know if what you're saying is true? That Bai Qian Qian is your white moonlight. Who knows if you'll just expose this matter under the crying of the white moonlight. It's not that Xing Yanshi doesn't believe what Xing Mu Han is saying, but she's a bit worried that Bai Qian Qian is Xing Mu Han's white moonlight. She might cry for the sake of Bai Qian Qian's face, and then this matter will be picked up by Gao Gao and gently let go. It's not entirely impossible. Xing Mu Han was infuriated and laughed at the heartfelt voice of Xing Yanshi. He is really curious about what kind of image he is in the eyes of his daughter. Is it because when he saw her in the delivery room, he immediately said she was ugly, so in her eyes, he became such a scumbag? Cece baby, looking at her father like this, is it doubting his determination? Hmm, doubt it, who made by Chan Chan cheap, dad. Your white moonlight is all used in the hospital. TSK TSK TSK, who doesn't doubt it? Humph, even give her the card. I need to take note and report it to my mom when I can speak. Xing Mu Han panicked. From the sound of Xing Yanshi's heart, Xing Mu Han knew that his precious daughter was different from other children. She said to write it down, and Xing Mu Han had no doubt that she would really remember it, and then reported it to Xin Nani. This won't work. If his wife finds out about this, he won't want to sleep in the room anymore, and it's still because of this false fact. Absolutely not. Xing Mu Han's mind was spinning rapidly. By Chan Chan. I remember, the card should have been given to her by my father. TSK, that old man, it was Bai Qian Qian who handed him the medicine when he had a heart attack. He used to treat her like a lifesaver and even gave her the card. Even if he had been clinging to me before getting married to his daughter in law, it was fine. Now she almost had my daughter transferred in the hospital. Bite your teeth. Sheng Mu Han remembered and muttered to himself, actually telling the baby in his arms that Bai Qian Qian's card was not given by him. And he also hates Bai Qian Qian very much. Hey. Is that so right, right, that's it. Xing Mu Han silently said in his heart. Xing Yanshi fell into silence. In fact, she only read the fake Qianjin book, and the substitute lover only glanced briefly. 
After all, after reading the fake Qian Jin, she had a sudden idea to see what the fake Qian Jin's biological parents looked like, but because it was too disgusting, she didn't take a particularly careful look. Listening to what Cheap Dad said, isn't by Qian Qian the white moonlight of Cheap Dad? Hmm. Of course not. Speaking of white moonlight, his wife is his white moonlight. If it weren't for his fear that his daughter would hear her thoughts and never think about anything again, Xing Mu Han would have wanted to explain to himself loudly. Cece baby, don't worry. Even if the old man supports her, I will still vent my anger on you. Don't worry. Xing Mu Han touched Xing Yanshi's head. Xing Yanshi blinked her big eyes and looked at Xing Mu Han. Cheap dad is really good. Xing Mu Han's lips lit up with a smile. My daughter praised him. Be good, dad will take you back to find mom. Eh ah, uh, going back to find my beautiful mother I don't know if she misses me hee hee, the thought of being able to return to Xin Nani's side made Xing Yanshi uncontrollably happy. Xing Mu Han's hand stiffened for a moment, but it quickly returned to normal. It's so close, almost jealous of my own daughter. Fortunately, it's her daughter. If she were a stinky kid, Xing Mu Han's jealousy might fly. Meanwhile, within the hospital, Shen Nani's VIP ward is located not far from each other. Brother Chen, you're here, seeing Gong Chen, by Chan Chan, who was originally resting on the hospital bed, struggled to sit up. But because in order to ensure the successful implementation of the plan, by Chan Chan, who was specifically involved in obstetrics and gynecology, felt a severe pain in the scar on her stomach. Gong Chen quickly stepped forward and said, Chan Chan, lie down quickly. You just gave birth to a child, you should pay attention to rest well, okay? Gong Chen looked at Bai Chan Chan with a pitiful expression on his face, and the worries in his eyes were almost overflowing. Ah, it's all his fault. If it weren't for Gong's decline and Chan Chan's pregnancy, she wouldn't want her future children to suffer. She came up with a plan to exchange them with Xing Mu Han's child, so that she wouldn't have to focus on obstetrics and gynecology to give birth despite having a different due date. My Chan Chan has suffered. It's really hard for you. Gong Chen sat by the bed, holding by Chan Chan's hand with a tone full of heartache. If possible, he doesn't want his beloved woman to suffer like this. Bai Chan Chan held Gong Chen's hand with her back, her face a bit pale. Although the pain in her body had already made her feel a bit uncomfortable, she still showed a smile to avoid Gong Chen's worry. Chen brother, Chan Chan is fine. Chan Chan is a woman and giving birth is just right. Chan Chan doesn't feel any hardship at all. On the contrary, Chan Chan feels proud that her uterus can give birth to a child for you, Chen brother. It is Chan Chan's honor. It is Chen brother who has made Chan Chan a complete and complete woman, a great woman and mother. This is the glory that a woman dreams of, thanks to brother Chen. Note that the above words are purely by Chan Chan's personal remarks. Please do not harm the innocent, such as the author. These are her three values. Please do not harm the innocent, such as the author. If you want to curse, please curse her. Please do not harm the innocent, such as the author. Once again, please do not harm the innocent, such as the author, over. White Chan Chan's eyes were filled with tenderness. Gong Chen smiled indulgently and said, Hmm, my Chan Chan is great. At this moment, Bai Chan Chan felt immense happiness. After a long silence, Bai Chan Chan remembered their plan and spoke up to inquire. Chen, how's it going? Has Shinani's daughter been sent to the orphanage? Chu Chen has been entrusted. If we want to see our child in the future, we can only secretly take a look. The thought of recognizing other women as mothers and calling them mothers before even seeing her own biological mother after her daughter was born saddens her. Her poor daughter, end of this chapter. Chapter 8 Poor Parents in the World You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Poor Parents in the World She separated from her biological parents from birth, and her daughter is really pitiful. 
Being raised in someone else's house, besides being satisfied with money, outsiders always love them more than their biological parents. Oh, her poor daughter. My daughter is pitiful, and she is also pitiful. She couldn't hold her own daughter from birth, and her own daughter had to leave her side. She couldn't even let her call her mother. Even if I want to see my daughter, I can only watch from a distance and cannot recognize her. At the thought of this, Bai Chan Chan couldn't control her sadness. It seems that at this moment, she is the saddest mother in the world. And her elder brother Chen must also be the saddest father in the world. Their family is really the most miserable family. However, they are also great, willing to endure the pain of separation rather than having children accompany them to suffer. Poor parents in the world. Immersed in sadness, Bai Chan Chan did not notice Gong Chen's somewhat indescribable expression. Chan Chan. Hmm. Seeing Gong Chen calling out to herself, Bai Chan Chan finally regained consciousness from her sad emotions. Brother Chen, what's wrong? Gong Chen. Chan Chan, the child of Xing Muhan. Before Gong Chen could finish speaking, he was interrupted by Bai Chan Chan. Bai Chan Chan thought that Gong Chen was too kind and couldn't bear to throw Xing Muhan's child into the orphanage, so he comforted and said, Chen, I know you are kind, but all of this is for our child. As parents, everything is for the sake of our children, so it's not our fault. If we have to blame that child for having the wrong pregnancy, it's that child's fault. Bai Chan Chan comforted Gong Chen. What could they be wrong with? They are just thinking about their own children, and if they want to blame them, they can only blame Xing Muhan's child for having the wrong pregnancy and blocking their daughter's path. It's not Chan Chan. Xing Muhan's child was not successfully transferred. Xing Muhan took his daughter to the company, and I just returned from the Xing family. Gong Chen was also very angry about why Xing Muhan wanted to bring Xing Yenshi to the company, causing their plans to be in vain. Kind hearted. Gong Chen, as the superior, stated that he did not. He and Bai Chan Chan are both egoists. In their view, kindness is a useless thing that only poor people can have. Because I struggle at the bottom, I cannot see the suffering in the world. What's the use of being poor with only kindness? Only worthy of being squeezed by them. What? Bai Chan Chan's volume was not controlled. They had already considered various solutions to the situation in advance, but only did not consider that Xing Muhan would bring his daughter to the company. Is he sick? Take a newborn baby around. Chen, what should we do then? Bai Chan Chan was a bit anxious. They were originally pretending that their child had just been born, so they definitely didn't have time to get to know each other. If they took advantage of this gap and switched the child, Xing Muhan and Xin Nani wouldn't recognize her and would only treat her daughter as their own child. I haven't successfully switched my child now, it will only be harder in the future. Bai Chan Chan bit her lips, her eyes dim. It's okay, let's think of a way. Gong Chen's expression was not very attractive either. Thinking of something, he looked at Bai Chan Chan gently and continued, Chan Chan, it's not impossible to have the child by our side. As long as Gong Shi doesn't go downhill, it's okay. Yes, as long as the Gong family does not go downhill, keeping the child by their side will not let the child suffer with them. But, Brother Chen. Bai Chan Chan hesitated to speak. Given the current situation of the Gong family, how could they possibly compare to the Xing family even if they don't go downhill? Besides, does Gong Chen have this ability? Although in Bai Chan Chen's eyes, her elder brother Chen was omnipotent, the actual situation was Bai Chan Chen remained silent. She still loved Gong Chen too much. Even if Gong Chen couldn't compare to Xing Muhan, she still didn't want to strike him down. As long as there is love, nothing is impossible. Chan Chen, do you love me? Are you willing to give anything for me? Gong Chen stared at Bai Chan Chen. At the moment when Gong Chen's words fell, Bai Chan Chen immediately nodded and said, I love you, Chen brother. 
Of course, I am willing to pay for you, even if it means letting me die. She was willing to have a child at Guimen Pass for Gong Chen, let alone anything else. Then. You can go find Xing Muhan and ask him to choose our Gong family as BCE drug partners, and then let us have a 70% profit margin. As long as we have BCE drug cooperation, Gong family can come back to life, and our daughter doesn't have to consider others as parents anymore. Gong Chen held by Chan Chan's hand, his eyes filled with deep affection. Bai Chan Chen hesitated and said, But Brother Chen, no matter what method is used, as long as we can secure this cooperation, Gong Chen's gaze remained firm. Don't worry, Chan Chen. After it's over, I won't mind you. Gong Chen has made up his mind to let Bai Chan Chen devote himself to Xing Muhan. When in love, it's the little darling's little heart, but when not in love, women are his tools. In the book, The Double Lover, Bai Chan Chen was physically and mentally abused by Gong Chen because she was a double. In the end, Gong Chen's conscience discovered that pursuing his wife at the crematorium led to a happy ending. Anyway, from the beginning, Bai Chan Chen was a substitute lover who rose to the throne. He had given her to many men before, but now it doesn't matter if she has an extra Xing Muhan. He loves Bai Chan Chen's inner self, not her body, so he won't despise him. Gong Chen thought silently in his heart. Brother Chen, wouldn't you really dislike Chan Chen? Bai Chan Chen looked weakly at Gong Chen. Have you ever slept with so many men before? Do I now dislike you? If you don't want to, it's okay. Some women are willing to. After only pretending to be affectionate for a while, Gong Chen became a bit impatient. How much respect and affection can a man have towards a woman who can find a lover and claims to be unable to let go of his ex-girlfriend and find a double? Ai Chen, if I'm willing, you can rest assured. Upon hearing by Chan Chen's words, Gong Chen's face smiled again and said, Chan Chen, I have wronged you. I will definitely give the baby and you a happy life. Well, I believe you, Brother Chen, a happy smile rose on by Chan Chen's face. She is so dirty, but Chen brother doesn't dislike her and is willing to give her and her baby a happy life. She is simply too lucky, too happy. Bai Chan Chen clearly forgot that the reason why she was dirty was entirely because Gong Chen gave her to others as an object. Give a palm and a sweet date, and Bai Chan Chen will feel happy. Hatch. Xing Mu sneezed coldly. Shen Nani, holding Xing Yenshi on the hospital bed, quickly turned his back to Xing Muhan and blocked Xing Yenshi tightly. Did you catch a cold? Don't pass on the cold to Shi Shi. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. What Great Brothers. Unfortunately, the ending was a bit tragic. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9. What Great Brothers. Unfortunately, the ending was a bit tragic, did you catch a cold? Don't pass on the cold to Shi Shi. Shen Nani turned his head to look at Xing Muhan with a wary expression on his face. This is because he was afraid that Xing Muhan might catch a cold and then transmit it to Xing Yanshi. After all, her Shi Shi is still a newborn baby, so there can't be anything good about it. At this time, there were not only Xing Muhan and Shen Nani in the ward, but also Xing Yenan and others present. Ten-year-old Xing Yenan looked at Xing Muhan with a tight face and said, Dad, you can't infect your sister. With the beginning of Feastin, the seven-year-old feast pool and the five-year-old feast book also stood up. Dad, if it were to be transmitted to my younger sister, she would also feel very uncomfortable if she caught a cold. I don't want to see my younger sister feel uncomfortable. The five-year-old banquet book speaks with a warm and gentle voice. The seven-year-old banquet pool is different. Compared to his brother and younger brother beating around the bush, he is quite straightforward. Dad, you're the pathogen. Let's go out. If you infect your sister and mother, humph. Sheng Muhan. Dot. This is being threatened by three stinky kids, right? 
Sure enough, it's better to have a fragrant and soft girl, not like three stinky kids. I didn't catch a cold, someone must have spoken ill of me behind my back. His wife and daughter are still here, so he shouldn't be kicked out. Sheng Yenshi was merciless in his criticism, that must be because dad has made too many enemies. Look, everyone is cursing you from behind. Big brother, you can't learn from dad in the future. Sheng Yenan is the most similar to Sheng Muhan among the three brothers. At a young age, he learned his father's maturity by 10 to 10. Before Sheng Muhan could even sneak a laugh at the banquet, he patted his brain melon seeds. Stinky kid, mocking your own dad, right? After being hit with a brain melon seed, Chi imparted ways for a while, but still couldn't accept it. He muttered softly. I'm telling the truth. What are you saying? Sheng Yanqi covered his head and realized something was wrong. He quickly put down his hand and waved it at Sheng Muhan, saying, No, it's nothing, Dad. He's not cowardly, it's from the heart. All right, stop arguing between you father and son, Cici has been woken up by you both. As Shen Nani's words fell from the hospital bed, Sheng Yanqi in her arms cooperated and let out a groan. Sheng Yanqi, who had already slept a lot, slept from Sheng Muhan's arms to Shen Nani's arms all the way, so when she returned to the hospital room, she did not see her three brothers who belonged to her in this lifetime. Now when she opened her eyes and saw the three big faces in front of her, her three pairs of eyes staring straight at her, Sheng Yanqi was immediately frightened. Wow! Where did you get three big pancakes? Scare the mice! Yeah! Sheng Yanshi felt his little heart pounding wildly, and the sound of being scared seemed somewhat shattered. Her little heart yo, alright, don't scare your sister. What are you doing so close to? Sheng Muhan slipped past three cubs. Don't scare his daughter into confusion. The three little ones who were lifted away all felt as if they had heard some kind of startled cry of milk in their milk. M it should be an illusion. After all, it's very obvious that the milk sound cannot be from my parents, and my younger sister has just been born and can't even speak. Obviously, it's also impossible. Yes, illusion. Sister, I'm sorry I scared you. Sheng Yanshu approached, but did not approach Sheng Yanshi with his entire face as he did just now. His voice was warm and gentle, as if afraid of scaring his sister again. Wow, he's a cute little Zheng Tai. He's so cute, give him a push, the voice of the foolish man at the grand banquet was heard by everyone. Sheng Muhan and Shen Nani have accepted the idea of being able to hear their daughter's voice, so their expressions have not changed much. But San Xiao only had a bewildered expression on his face. What sound is this? Is my sister talking? Sheng Yan Shu spoke in confusion. Eh. Such a gentle, gentle, and cute little Zheng Tai must be my third brother's feast book. He 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 he, so cute, banquet book. Dot. Sister sister spoke. My sister still knows his name. The feast book shocked the face Sheng Yanqi was unhappy and quickly squeezed over. Sister, sister, I, I. Second brother. Call me brother. Oh, this is that domineering second brother. He he, he's a proud and petite young lady who said, I love you. Eh. Sheng banquet pool. Dot. My sister said she loves him. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so happy if the banquet pool had a tail, its tail should be swinging wildly at this moment. Cough. Seeing both younger brothers showing their faces in front of their younger sister, Sheng Yenan coughed lightly to let Sheng Yanshi notice her presence. Sheng Yanshi did indeed notice him. Oh Momo, this should be the big brother, the future cold and aloof boss. Using a cute little kid's face to put on a cold and aloof posture, Really good contrast, he 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 he, I don't know what it would be like to make him cry. Eh. Sheng Yenin. Dot. At a young age, Sheng Yenin, with a simple mind, didn't understand what Sheng Yanshi meant by making him cry. 
she thought it was because her sister disliked her. Shen Muhan and Shen Nani, who knew the truth, said, dot. What kind of tiger and wolf words do my own daughter think of? Fortunately, they were the only ones who could hear their daughter's words. My parents are beautiful, and my three brothers are also beautiful. I can't even imagine how happy I will be in the future, he 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 Shen Yenshi laughed wildly in her heart, and a smile appeared on her face. Her eyes rolled and she looked over one by one, and her smile grew even stronger. Banquet and, banquet pool, banquet book. Dot. My younger sister praised them for their good looks. In the past, they didn't care much about their appearance, but if their younger sister likes it pride. Eh ah, brother's pasting, although San Xiaoju eh doesn't know what the stickers mean, seeing her sister reach out to them, she probably wants to get closer to them, right? So, the three little ones approached and surrounded the feast she in groups. Three hands touched Xing Yenshi's small hands and feet one by one. Wow! Sister is so small and soft. The feast book let out a cry of surprise. Banquet and and banquet pool silently nodded in agreement. It's really small and soft. I feel like if I apply a little force, my sister will break down. The strength of the three little ones instantly relaxed, relaxed, and relaxed again, afraid that their delicate and soft sister would be hurt by them. Sister, brother will protect you in the future. Sheng Yenqi and Sheng Yenshu also wanted to say this, but Sheng Yenin was ahead of them. Oh, what great brothers! Unfortunately, the ending was a bit tragic. Heartbroken. Three little ones. Dot. What is my sister talking about? At this moment, Sen Xiao only regained his composure from the excitement of having a younger sister and noticed the problem of her not opening her mouth, but a sound coming into their ears. End of this chapter. 10. Chapter 10. Spiritual Induction Between Siblings. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10. Spiritual Induction Between Siblings. Why Younger Sister? Hmm. Before the banquet pool could ask Sheng Yenshi a question or even speak, a voice came into his ear and he was covered by Sheng Yenin's hand. The feast pool is full of doubts. Sheng Yenin covered the mouth of Sheng Yenqi while pulling him out of the hospital room, saying, Xiao Xu, come out. The feast book was very obedient. Although it was as confusing as the feast pool, when feast and called him out, he obediently followed him out. The relationship is really good. Watching the interaction between the three little ones, Shen Nani chuckled lightly. After the three little ones came out, Sheng Yenin released her mouth that covered the banquet pool. As soon as his mouth was liberated, the banquet pool began to speak with a loud bang, Big brother, what are you doing? Why are you covering my mouth? Poo poo poo. Sheng Yenin ignored the glare in Sheng Yenqi's eyes. Think for yourself. Did you also hear it? Sheng Yenshu looked at Sheng Yenin in confusion, without realizing what the big brother was saying for a moment. The feast pool's eyes widened. Big brother, did you hear it too? Sheng Yenin nodded and said, My sister didn't open her mouth, but I heard what she said. Don't say you haven't opened your mouth, even if you're just born, you can't speak, okay? Sheng Yenshu's reaction slowed down for a moment, but he still followed suit. Me, I also heard my sister's voice, he said turns out they're not the only ones who heard my sister's voice, they've all heard it. The banquet pool and the banquet paper looked at each other for a while before shifting their gaze back to Sheng Yenin. The feast is bigger than them, without a doubt, it has become their backbone at this moment. What we hear should be the voice that our sister is thinking in her heart. As for why we can hear it. It should be because we are all parents' children. The Telepathy Between Siblings Although Xing Yenin usually looks like a small adult, he still feels a bit flustered when facing such situations. However, he stabilized. The Feast Pool and Feast Book also accepted the possibility mentioned by Feastin. After all, as children, they don't have deeply ingrained ideas about the world, 
so it's still easy to accept such unscientific things. Big brother, can parents hear my sister talking? The banquet book tugged at the corner of its clothes and made a voice to inquire. After a moment of silence, and Chin shook his head and said, I don't think I know. After all, neither father nor mother had any reaction. If they could hear it, their reaction just now would have been as shocking as theirs. At the age of only ten, Shen Yenin still doesn't understand how well adults manage their facial expressions. Even if she is extremely shocked, there won't be a hint of surprise on her face. There are still those who are eager to learn during the feast. Wow! That little sister is so amazing that we can all hear her talking in our hearts. Should we talk to our parents? The feast pool is already eager to show off their sister's abilities to everyone. Can others hear her voice? If only one person can hear their sister's voice, Shen Jianchi may think that person has superpowers, but if they can all hear their voice, then it is only the sister's superpowers. Sister is super amazing. Before the feast pool could be proud for a while, it was shattered by feast and illusion. No way. Sheng Yen said sternly, I can't tell anyone about this, and neither can my parents. End of this chapter